Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich as Turkey. Let's continue on for the last set off. So, the Syrian government has completely fabricated the results of the referendum. Absolutely, 100% without a shadow of a doubt. So now, uh, uh, the, the, the Great Marshal, he's decided that, you know, more direct intervention might be necessary in order to secure victory in the, uh, in the Adana, uh, Dyer Cup, Dyer Bekar. Uh, situation. Look, I, I don't, I don't, I don't speak, uh, neither Turkish nor Arabic. The war is on its way. Military action will be taking place on the 14th of July. Next month. Five weeks. And I'm ready. I'm ready to go. We have a couple of tank divisions. Slowly being trained. Kaj Wilhelm is dead. Probably having a heart attack seeing the, uh, the situation this country is currently in. Getting invaded in three separate, <laughs> three separate places. Look, it's, it's not going away great for Germany. Which, in the end, is also, like, not great for us. Due, due to the fact that, hey, uh, one of our decisions is to join the Reich's Pact. It, it, I, I, it, it, it's not good. <laughs> I, I prefer if we could, uh... You know, I, don't, I don't even know. Like, will Germany survive long enough for me to actually join the Reich's Pact? I've got to get all of these focuses actually done before we can even ask Germany. Which is, you know, one, two, three, four. We got four... Eight, eight folks is totaled in here, and I still want to get our way up down to the Rajasha school prior to, um... We also get a bunch of claims on Thrace, Daikabar, Vaughn, Aleppo, Eastern Macedonia, Kaladice. I don't even know where the hell that is. We're going to get a lot of claims here. A lot of claims. I, I don't think we'll be able to win the war prior to getting this focus done. At the, at the very least, we'll wait until we have this focus in order to actually peace out. For, I think, obvious reasons. Because I guess it doesn't really matter. If, if, if push comes to shove, we can just state transfer tool stuff back to us. Okay, so Pacific states have joined the Entente. I don't think anybody's surprised by that. And are you going to keep the name Pacific states? You should end up changing your name. Also, oh, get this off my screen. Wasini Federation has completely destroyed Central America. And now that the United States, or the Pacific states, I guess I should say, is now in the, inter, uh, in the Entente, Mexico is fricked. There, there's no way they're coming back from this. So goodbye Mexico, goodbye to uh, Central America. Is there anybody else in the international over here? There is not, okay. We don't really have to worry about that. Why are you... Because oh, you're owned by the Dutch, right? Who owned this territory before? Okay, this is just one of the issues with that Hawaii Fort. We don't need to worry about that. Yeah, so Mexico is basically 100% fricked. Uh, maybe the United States aren't going to join the war quite yet. Probably because I think their entire army gets deleted. Like, how many units do they actually have? I mean, 23 to 89 is actually still a good number. You know, that's not that's, that's not bad. Close air support gave to close air support level 2. Again, our air force is quite nice. We have a good air force. Much better than every single one of our neighbors, uh, bar Russia. For the most part, we should be, like, okay, I think. Okay, new Turkish soldier. War will be breaking out in 10 days. The entirety of the Baltics, uh, kind of, kind of screwed. Lithuania, Baltic states, Belarus. None of you guys have any chance in hell of surviving right now. I mean, Germany did push you out of, uh, Prussia. I mean, that's good. Belgium also somehow is still alive. I don't know how. Oh, they actually have a, they actually have a port. They're holding a port at Bay of the Entente sending units here. That's probably exactly what's going on in Belgium. I thought I did not know that Antwerp was a port. So that makes a little bit more sense. We'll get our second doctrine. Second doctrine in 1941 is kind of impressive in and of itself. Russia is doing a naval invasion of Danzig. It'll be, it'll be funny if by the time we... Um... Oh, I, had to, I had to choose one. I mean, division speed, organization is pretty good as well. It's not bad. Dublin has fallen, so Ireland's going to fall to the British. And with the fall of Ireland, it's time for an invasion of Syria. And okay, we're going to clear war. I don't have any allies, so we don't need to call them in. And Red Army, it's time for you to march in as aggressively as possible. Move our units. We're just ready to go. And we should end up at war. Oh, yeah, you're a puppet of 
Yeah, you're probably of Egypt. We're already at war with the Egyptians as well. But again, what we want to do is we want to wait until... We want to wait until... Both of these focuses are actually done to actually end the war. Anything else doesn't really make sense. So I want to deploy my tank divisions in. I'm going to say no, not yet. Look, you, you should not have falsified the results of the referendum, okay? That's all I've got to say about the situation. We're going to move our units into Aleppo. I mean, Aleppo is not a Turkish core. Actually, do you give us claims on Aleppo? No, Western Thrace, which is here, which we already have. Hazadarli is not one of you. Uravan. I think you're East. Do we get a claim on Eastern Macedonia? We do. We also get a claim here as well. We just get a lot of claims. We used to get more claims doing this than we do, I think, being the Armen Empire. Aleppo von Yakbar, which we already know. In fact, we do get a claim on Aleppo. We also get a claim on Batumi, which is here. Erevan is Armenia. Okay. So, I mean, we get one, two, three, four, five. We still have a core here. Okay, so we, we actually have decent uh, expansion options. We'll go down to just regular combat speed for just a moment. One of you needs to go here. One of you needs to go here. You move up this way. So probably, I mean, a rock is somehow almost dead. I'm assuming because I mean, Egypt probably sent a lot of units up north to come deal with us. And left the rock basically undefended. We want army plans or supply methods. Again, we get we get to choose one of you. Max planning. Okay, we're definitely going to go for uh, supply consumption minus ten percent. Go supply methods on this one. Again, that's assuming we only get to keep one, which I think is the case. I'm actually going to deploy these two tanks, even though they're still green. I'd rather have the tanks on the field right now. Do you want to move any purple army onto the red front? The answer is yeah. Let's, let's let's take some of you over here. Go to Beirut, go to Damascus. Don't think that's going to be enough to kill Syria, because I think we will need to move our way down to Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. I mean, we could probably just walk our way down, honestly. Hey, okay, no, there are some Egyptian troops here. Not going to let us walk in that easily. They're only going to let us walk in pretty easily. And move our units down south. Nej is not a part of the Cairo Pact. Probably good, uh, good on them. Yemen and Muscat are not part of the Cairo Pact either, so... Full position. Defend. Got a tank division here now, which is nice. Belarus has fallen to the Russians. Which is definitely a little bit scary. Don't get me wrong. Also, our war support... It's at 45, which is still actually not good enough for war economy. Okay, move troops into Damascus. Honestly, the units up here aren't really doing anything. Like, pushing into this province... I don't think actually accomplishes a single one of our objectives. Okay, you know what? Red Army, stop. Stop all attacks reorganized, except they do want to take this province. Does these mean he's already almost dead? We might as well do it, right? Let's keep our forces where they're at. We've got a good position for ourselves right now. We're, we're right next to Damascus. Things are looking good. And also, this will uh, allow the Antan to have a little bit more uh, maneuverability in southern uh, Egypt, which is nice. Okay, so the Qing are just doing fantastic. They're doing really, really well for themselves. I can't imagine the federal government's going to be able to beat the Qing. I mean, maybe maybe if they get, like... If they go to war with the Japanese at the same time, like, maybe. Yeah, you're all the set to cover Red Army. We have enough oil for this for now. And I believe we probably do have more aircraft ready to deploy. Crank you up to, two, let's just say 200, split you into groups of four. Have you also to fly over and cover Red Army. And again, because we have air superiority, there's really not too much the Egyptians can actually do. Like, their penalties are probably... Okay, that's, I mean, only 4%, really? 
I mean, how many planes do we have in Syria? I mean, I, I'd say a decent amount. Unless all of you... Make sure you're all actually doing something. There we go. I think most of our planes actually did not even have objectives, so... Good work on me there. Okay, new trigger soldier. Allows us to get our way down to Revanche's goal. 42 days on you. Get our mobile defense. 11% penalty for you. 12.5% penalty or bonus for us. So Rock has fallen. It allows Iran to take over a lot of territory over here. The Siri actually gets to make a comeback. Congratulations to them. Where is a good supply hub? Again, we have supply hubs here. We do need to take homes probably at some point, so we might as well get that done now. And Red Army, you should not be deploying on the Iranian border. This doesn't make sense. But you know what? Uh, in uh, Entente, I will take your material. Thank you very much for sending me some uh, aircraft. I do greatly appreciate it. And after this, I mean, tanks are nice. I'll probably go artillery. Just because artillery is in basically every single one of our armies, it would make more sense. Do it that way, but... At the same time... Okay, we did take homes. Move our way over to this province next. We want to make sure we can keep our units in Beirut. Yeah, and you guys just have no supplies. Because you have no supply hub around here. I was saying, maybe there... Are, they may there be one over in uh, Arabia that they could have used if, if Arabia stayed in their faction. But even then, they actually don't have that going for them. Do not sign a non-aggression pact with the Iranians, because at some point we do want to go to war with them. Bring you down. Do another push in Damascus, and all of you will just loop your way into taking Damascus afterwards. Okay, yeah, so we have 30 days. So yeah, I mean, it, we probably will not be able to beat these guys in one month. And also, you guys should actually move in like this. Diplomatic overtures from the Kingdom of Greece. While the relationship with the Greeks have been cool at best since their rebellion from Turkish rule in the 19th century, they received several ambassadors in the Kingdom of Greece who were hopeful to start a new era of peace between our nations. Perhaps even going so far as to eventually work out an exchange of land and people. Without the need to retort to uh, further war. For today, however, the Greeks are looking for an indication that we might be open to such talks in the future. Let's save for now. Also, Greece somehow had a major comeback in this war against Bulgaria. I'll, I'll even just do it just to take the political power. We don't need we don't need this. Actually, I probably want something here. Actually, I'll put boom done. I mean, if Greece, I mean, what land? I mean, uh, exchange for land and people. I mean, there's no way they're going to give us these two provinces. Like, that's not going to happen. I mean, we'll probably we'll, we'll probably just end up evading Greece at some point. I mean, they hate us. We hate them, too. Different ideology. They're claiming our territory. Chances of us being friendly are fairly slim, I would say. So Damascus fallen. Syria, I mean, they're almost dead. Okay, they actually, they actually took back homes. So you can take back homes. The Syrian government should collapse. The Egyptians, I, like, really don't have anything to, uh... I mean, they can't stop us, essentially. Let's take homes. You're now down to 20%. 20% here as well. I mean, you are, I think, a mountain province, which makes this... I mean, your hills, okay. Which does make it a little bit trickier, for sure. Homes is doing okay. If you're going to take any of these cities, it'll still work out for us. But we... Actually, no, Beirut is not a... Uh, okay, Beirut's not a core territory of Syria. That is good to know. Help you out with this assault on, uh, on Holmes. Because again, as soon as Holmes falls, Syria is dead. We're going to put all of our units to uh, march our way stay, stay, straight into Cairo. In less than 20 days, Revanche's goal will be completed. Greece... We'll probably not be very happy with them. Diplomatic pollution plus 75. We don't have any claims or cores on them. Yet. But that should be Syria dead. 21%. Did they take back a city? 
I mean, I, they have Beirut. But I mean, it's at the same time, it's Beirut, right? Like, they, they don't have a core on it. Are you able to hold on to Beirut a little bit better? We wouldn't be in this situation. Okay, bring Red Army down south. Again, we're not at war with Iran quite yet. Probably at some point in the future, but not at the very not at this very moment. Okay, Jerusalem has fallen. The Syrians have collapsed. We're very, very happy to see that. Gonna bring Red Army down here. You two stay here. You guys stay here, push away into Beirut. Like, we'll keep a couple of Red Army units on here, but that's really about it. Everybody else we want. Just marching your way straight into Egypt. Essentially. Are you, uh... No, you're not in a faction. Francis will try and take over southern, uh... Southern Syria. The Amsterdam's fallen. And Mexico City. It's a double, a double feature. I don't... I hate what's happening right here, by the way. Okay, Mexico's collapsed. Italy is actually falling to, or is losing to the international now as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. I, the Reich's Pact is going to lose, 100%. I mean, Lithuania is almost dead. They, it's really just them focusing on, on this situation. I mean, Romania and Serbia are still actually doing well against the Austrians. There goes the Dutch. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're just not going to be joining up the Reich's Pact this campaign, primarily due to the fact. That there is not going to be a Reich's Pact to join, given enough time. And we have a few days on you. You should be done no matter what. There is no way that, um... I, think we, I mean, okay, we got that railroad built. So, like, just go military factories in Constantinople. We're not going to be able to march away into, Ky into uh, Ky uh, Cairo in five days. Even if we want it to happen, we just don't have the, uh... It's just not going to happen, basically. I don't feel like I need to elaborate on that too much. Okay, Purple Army, you're still going to stay up over north of this river. I'm actually going to put... I want to put a handful of units on that front. We'll probably wait until we've actually killed Egypt first to kind of reorganize our armies. I don't know who we could really reorganize, though. But again, we can deploy 16. I can't deploy only one of them, though. I mean, I guess I could just delete some of them. No, let, let's wait until bare minimum we've actually have won the war. And then we can get our claims and whatnot. Okay, now we can call for an election. Invade Bulgaria, invade you. Resources we control one of the following. Controls Antinopo, controls Constantinople, controls Simina. Not in a faction. We don't have an aggression pack with them. But we have claim. Do we not have claims on this territory? I mean, we do, but that actually doesn't allow us to actually attack you, which is kind of funny. Let's invade Bulgaria. You know, while we're in. I mean, do we even have any claims on their territory? I mean, we don't. It's just going to go to Greece. But I guess I could invade Bulgaria. I mean, okay, so it says. Not in a faction. Does not have a non-aggression pact. It does not say they actually need to be independent. That is important. Don't worry about this. Armenia and... Actually, no, Armenia we can invade. You're not in a faction, right? No, Armenia is completely independent. Yeah, let's invade Armenia. I'm gonna bring you here. I'm gonna bring a handful of divisions up to deal with this. Again, Armenia is not in the Reich's Pact. That's very, very important. Everyone else, we're just going to wait. Bulgaria will wait in to invade them until they actually have uh, made peace with the Greeks. And then we'll uh, probably just do a bunch of naval invasions. We should be able to get that done fairly easily, I would say. Actually, let's get Red Army ready to go for... Actually, no, we have, we have a land border with them. What am I talking about? We, we can just move units over there. But at the same time, we should get naval invasion ready to go just in case. Uh, we'll just say onto the southern island here. Sounds good. And they also have Crete, but I don't think you need to take Crete in order to actually kill Greece. So I'm not too worried about that. What about Hejaz? We could move units into the area down there. There's 17 Egyptian forces in this province. 
That's just kind of depressing. 17. At mi they have at minimum... This, this could be half their army. It actually it might be half their army. 400,000 dead. Mostly against Iran, to be fair. How many men have we lost in this war so far? 13k? Really not so bad. They push our way down to... Into the Sinai Peninsula. Probably don't need to deal with the... Uh, with head jazz, I would say. I mean, it shouldn't be important. 41. We're going to go for another fuel bonus. Are we doing planes flying over Egypt? We do. Fantastic. Not a ton, because I don't think we actually have an airport around here. There's one airport here, actually. So I, I do want to take this. We can get our planes in the area. And these units won't. They won't survive too long. There's no way they survive that long. I do see that Armenia does have a decent sized army, but I'm not too worried about that. So 13 days we'll go to war with you. See, this this happened. If you destroy the Ottoman Empire, Turkey will come back and it'll be stronger than ever before. Okay, so their army is slowly getting whittled down. 13 divisions now. We did take the airport. We probably should have planes, I'm assuming, flying in the area now. Yeah, we'll bring both of you. You know, you can actually assign you to Purple Army for now. Georgia has fallen to the Russians. I mean, it's understandable. We've got 13 divisions now. Yeah, we want to strike the same area. We just got to get across the Suez Canal and we'll be... Uh, We'll be much happier with the position. Also, I would prefer if the French Republic would do a little bit better uh, to, to fight this off, but we'll see. Okay, Germany's dead. 100% Germany is fucked. They're, they're not getting saved. Which is very sad, but, you know, what can you do? Invade Russia is not going to happen. Bulgaria. I mean, Bulgaria, you, you just got to give up against the Greeks, okay? Greece has best city. So what areas does Greece need to actually control? Andernopel, Constantinople, or Simia. So either here... Constantinople, which is understandable. Or Simia. Which is... you. So either one, two, or three. So we can't, even though we have claims, we actually can't be aggressive here. I mean, 15% attack and defense on artillery is absolutely what I would uh, prefer in this situation. Please do not take back Jerusalem. You're not helping anybody in this situation. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to come back here. Nobody should be going to these front lines quite, quite yet. Okay, we've cleared war in Armenia. And we're just going to see if you can split Armenia in half. I mean, it's, only, it's I think, four tiles. It's not a very big country. Again, your Joey moves your way down towards the south. Once Greece releases Bulgaria, it should pop back in our list. Or at least I'm pretty sure it should pop back in our list. How do you have no supplies? I do have trucks, right? Yes. So this should hopefully get our supply situation to be a little bit better. Please take Jerusalem, surround the city. I'm going to have you move your way. You know what? Actually, join Purple Army. Move your way up north. Okay, put another uh, force in here. Jerusalem's now surrounded. Can I bring more forces in? Not quite yet. We actually have some Iraqi troops over here as well. There goes Jerusalem. Again, I would need you guys to point down south. Because we need to kill the Egyptians. That's kind of important. Okay, we have more reinforcements on their way. I mean, Armenia shouldn't be that difficult to actually end up killing here. 19,000. Somehow, I guess... How did we only kill... We killed 17 divisions, did we not? I mean, maybe Iran actually got the credit for those kills. I don't know. 87. Lithuania is dead as well. 
I mean, yeah, like like the Reich's Pact, they, there's just no hope in hell for them. Their best case scenario would actually be for Austria to surrender against Serbia and Romania, allow them to peace out separately, and then Austria trying their best to uh, make something else here work. Which is not going to be an easy task. All the troops should be up here. Okay, Egypt. I mean, what I could do also is bring out my navy. They have 13 mines. I'm not too worried about that. Okay, you two should be getting killed off now. Under political power because we've had an election. The birth of the modern state. You'd love to see it. Let me actually get a war economy now. But as soon as we're not at war, we're going to get a penalty of this. So, I mean, base, I mean, uh, you actually just give us uh, eight steel. You know, I think that's the first time I've ever seen that kind of, uh, bonus. Industrial concern, though. Let's go, like, um, I mean, what about, like, a light tank? Max speed, 10% cheaper tank cost, breakthrough and reliability. You know, give me cheaper tanks, and then we'll edit you. If I just change one thing about you, we can get our module. Throw on a machine gun, sure. Now it's going to be a 10% uh, cheaper. So actually, it's cheaper to have the tank. Yeah, 6.64. And then as soon as I add in, let's just say, like, a second cannon. Or, uh, what else do we have here? Radio's already on there. Like, a reliability bonus. It, okay, it becomes a little bit more expensive, because this is just expensive on its own. Stabilizer... Yeah, but you're cheap. So it goes from 6.64, add in the machine gun, and then it goes up to, to uh, 6.16. Because we actually have a cheaper uh, tank here. Yeah, upgrade you to our new variant. Replace our old ones first. And then Red Army, your job afterwards is going to be, obviously, to invade your way into Iran. Can I... In actually, I can invade Bulgaria. Okay, so they're a puppet. Actually, I don't get the option to. I really thought I actually would. Also, we don't need to actually take it. We just need to take uh, Yevrin. This is actually the only city in uh, the country that actually matters. But I do think with the fall of Syria and the war against uh, uh, Armenia, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks to everybody for watching. I say, I hope you've enjoyed. Put a thumbs up. Not enjoy, click some down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.